Luke talked to me about this. This is him, the ITV drama, and told me it was it was absolutely crazy and weird and. To use a similar term to what we did, I think it's bonk. I do genuinely think it's completely bonkers. They used a specific word to domestic describe Domestic horror. They call domestic it domestic horror. horror. Uh, and it's focusing a, a lot upon a young lad who you never know the name of, which feels like a really smug plot device that I hated. You just, did you not know his name? No, they don't tell you. And that's why it's called him. I didn't know that. I didn't know Because he's that. only referred to as him, and that's why oh, it's called right. him. But I just found that like to be like a really oh, like, like, oh isn't that clear. clever? Isn't that clever? They've never done that before. Uh, so he um, is it like a young lad. His parents have got divorced. They've both got new uh, partners now. Are both married. The mum played by Catherine Kelly is married to former Casualty and Strictly star Patrick Robinson, and the dad who's played by James Murray. James Murray, who I who I always mix up with uh, Andrew Buchan. I, I, I can I, see that. Yeah, they do look. Yeah, that. there is a similarity. And yeah. he and he's married to I don't know the actress, but um, she Labour. she's yeah. She I mean she's horrible. She's like really can horrible. Just before we get into this, they're yeah. all horrible. They're yeah, all they are all horrible. horrible that, even people. the boy. This is basically Matilda with a with a really. Thank you. Gary, was that <laughs> not my... Didn't I just it, say it, this to exactly Gary? exactly what Luke said before you... I mean, they're, go, they're going for sort of Carrie, aren't they? But it's more like Matilda, because every time the adult says something he doesn't like, he he gets, like, he can control things, basically. He gets really angry, his eyes go thing, and then he can control various things. Early on, he sort of organises, like, a car, a car crash. Later on, he when Patrick Robinson is having a go at him... He almost has all these tools fall on his head. And there's, and there's, a, there's a scene, scene in where episode... There's, yeah. Where these tools are just dangling over his head. Yeah. And then the, the final scene, he's had a really big blow up with his, his stepmother. Is just... I mean, as you say, everyone in this is horrible. Uh, Catherine Kelly, I think, is meant to be... We're meant to like yeah, her a little she's bit. She's horrible. I hated yeah. her. I hated everybody. But it's it's meant to be as well. This this power that he's got is meant to be inherited from his granddad. And it's skipped mm. a generation. And um, his grandma, who's played by Susan Jameson, very sort of famous actress, is saying she, he needs to sort of um, control these powers and stuff like that. But at the end, he has a really big blow up with his stepmother and uh, basically uh, the roof caves in. Is that right? Am I remembering? That's right, yeah. Right? The, bar- yes, the bath right. comes into the, the yeah, bedroom. Yeah, and basically floods the bedroom and we get the impression that she's going to lose the twins that she's carrying. I know Gary's a bit more open-minded about completely ridiculous TV than I am, but I don't know who this is for. I no. genuinely don't know no, who this I, is for. No, I, I feel like this is... Uh, I feel like this is, is, is been put in as a filler. This feels like a filler. I don't really you know where they're going with weird, it. You look at this and you look at Paranoid and there's just like a lot of weird drama on ITV. Yeah. Time. I know oh, what you're no saying, fun. Gary, but you, you don't you don't commission things thinking, I need a filler for the... No, I just say equally, I think, I don't know where they're going with this. And as you say, who is it aimed at? It's got a very strong teenage lead, mm. but it's on at nine o'clock. That's not a teenage market, particularly ITV. And yet... As a family, as you say, who do you empathise with? You're not. There's no one nice in the program. So I don't even you, like him. It's almost like they're putting it on because they put it on on Wednesday night up against like the leading from the Bake Off to the missing. It's yeah. like why would you? You'd put some like random documentary, documentary about clampers. About clampers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then why haven't they? You could you could have paired this up with the level on a Friday night or something, or or no, wait until Paranoid was finished and show it then. Yeah, but yeah. there's nothing. It feels bad. like they're like running out of the clock on a lot of drama they commissioned. Because uh, I read recently, because uh, Polly Hill's just come in, hasn't she, from yeah. BBC, and she's just commissioned her first four dramas, which include and Luke will be happy about this, a K melodrama. Oh, I cannot wait for hating that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think there's anything. Bad about this program. Oh, there I is. Think, it's, it's, no, 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 I don't. Bad, I, don't Gary. I think the writing is okay, and I think no, it's a, not. Look, no, no, it's no, not. No, 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 hold on. I'm allowed my opinion. There is no, a storyline in there. There is. I just, no, no, I just don't know. No, there is a storyline in there. He is right. There's a story. It's a rubbish well, story. Right. It's, it's a, a story terrible story that should never have been commissioned and put on telly. Would anyone that you know watch this and enjoy it? Because surely anyone's going to go. It's completely bonkers. Because at first I thought, is he imagining these things? Are mm. they really happening? 
And then, of course, they are happening. It's and not you realize as that. Well, what it is, I think, is that it's, as you say, the domestic horror, but these two things don't balance. If it went full on bonkers, like horror, like a sort mm-hmm. of Buffy type thing or something like that, if it embraced it, at the same time, it wants to be this sort of kitchen sink sort of family drama as well. Yeah, it, it's things. lost. Those two elements lost don't it. mesh together. As you said, Luke, it's going to alienate the fans of sort of standard sort of domestic drama and like outlandish horror drama because it's in that middle ground that no one really wants. And I think that's the problem with it. 